Hello guys, you're welcome to Photographics Academy. All right, so today we are going to be learning something very interesting. I want to take you through how you can touch your image in just five minutes. Quickly, how you can retouch your images in five minutes and you will get high-end results, high-end results. So without wasting your time, let's quickly get started. So the first thing you are going to do, obviously, is to take care of your blemishes. So I'm just going to do this one quickly. Just take care of your blemishes as much as you can. Take your time and make sure it's perfect. Take your time and make sure it's perfect. Can use any of the any of the blemish remover tool to, all to do this. Anyone at all you can use it. But right then it gets the job done for you. This part is very important that you take care of it as much as you can. you can use this one just like this but if you have all the time take your time and make sure that your own image is as clean as possible as less blemish as possible so that it doesn't affect your end result so let's get started this is where the retouching starts so just press ctrl j ctrl j ctrl i quickly just follow it the same way i'm doing it compact your blend mode to be the light very important then go to your filter order Go to high pass, go to high pass, then zoom in on your image and increase your high pass. Let's try somewhere around 15. So high pass is the one that takes care that that means how smooth your image is going to turn out. So I think 15 is too small. Let's try 22. I want the result to be as extreme as possible so you could see it in your own as much as possible. Okay, so we're going to use going to use 22 press ok go to filter go to blur or sham blur now this is one that determines if you are going to have your textures back or not so you take it down and start increasing it slightly until you have enough textures that you want in your image so you have enough texture you can try to take it up you can take it down so I'm going to stay somewhere around three. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to stay somewhere around three. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I think three is a bit too low. So let's just do four. Press OK. Hold your alternate and click on the layer mask. It's going to load up your mask. Change your, uh, make sure that your background color is white and your foreground color is black. And take up your brush and start painting over the skin. You will see the magic this does in just a few minutes. So this is the rule of this particular pattern. Do not paint on the edges. Do not paint on the edges. It doesn't look good on the edges. It clearly messes up your image whenever you paint on the, on the edges. And avoid clipping points. If you have any point in your image that is clipping with highlights, you have to avoid it. Because it doesn't also look good on that. With these two rules in mind, you are good to go. All right, so we are done with the skin retouching. Let me show you. So this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Let me bring it closer so you can see. All right, so this was the image before, this is after. Look at that amazing magic we've created here. This is before, this is after. So when you are done with yours, just flatten it all. So we we'll just do the last and we are good to go. So I think I noticed I didn't take care of this when I was taking care of my blemishes. So I'm going to remove it now. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly apply auto dodge and burn to the image and we are good to go. So this is auto dodge and burn action over here. I'm going to play it over the image. It's already played. I'll take up my brush. I'll paint it in like this. And we have amazing results. 
Sachs. Okay, so this is before the author does I'm born, for after, for after. I think it is a bit too much to put down a little. So to follow up, maybe you can decide to go to a real solution, fill the red a little, fill the red a little, like this, darken it up a little now. Darken it up a little, go to your selective color. And those will slide us around to see what it gives you. See the result of two C. So around here, try to send in the terminals. <laughs> Tip this down a little more. And add a little more contrast from your course, and we are good to go. Just a little contrast. And this is it. So, this was before the color grading. Let me group this together. So, this is before color grading. This is after the color grading, before, after. And this is the overall before and after. Let's get it. They will flatten that already. We say go, can go to your history and locate it. So this was the image when we came into Photoshop, and this is after the big retouching. Thank you for watching this amazing video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and please ring the bell to make sure you get notified every single time we drop a new video. See you.